Hey guys, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. I'm Chris. Today is Wednesday, September the 25th, and today's review is going to be coming out of the Atlanta Brewing Company out of Atlanta, Georgia. And it is a beer that I've seen scattered all across the Mid South area in uh, various beer stores that I frequent. Um, when I got off work today, I decided I was going to stop off at the beer store uh, with actually nothing in mind. Uh, but this one caught my attention pretty much as soon as I opened up the, the beer case and saw it inside. And I thought, why not? I'll pick it up, take it home, try it out, and give it a little review on it. So anyway, like I said, it's coming out of the um, Atlanta Brewing Company, and it is their Red Brick Hot Atlanta IPA. Um, I checked this out on uh, Beer Advocate, and Beer Advocate, I think, gave it a score of 84, which is not something, you know, to really write home about, but it's not a bad score. So, uh, anyway, um, also, I think it said it had an ABV of 6.2%, which is pretty much about right where I like my beers as far as the alcohol content. And um, I think, let me check it. I'm not for sure about the IBUs. Let's see what they said. It has, uh, like I said, 6.2% uh, alcohol by volume, and it has 61 IBUs. And I went to um, the Red Brick uh, actual website, and it says that it's best enjoyed at 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit served in a pint-style glass. Uh, availability is in 12-ounce bottles and also in draft. Um, food pairing suggestions. It says Hot Atlanta goes perfectly with rich, flavorful foods such as classic southern barbecue or spicy Thai curry type dishes. It pairs well with strong cheeses like sharp cheddar, gorgonzola, and camembert, which I'm not familiar with that latter cheese. Um, but anyway, like I said, 61 IBUs, so it's not just the strongest beer I've ever had. But uh, anyway, enough talk. Let's open this thing up and pour it to see what it looks like. And I'm going to be pouring this out of a pint glass like they recommend, so. Okay. Didn't pour just uh, a ridiculously large head. A good two, good two finger head, kind of off white color uh, as far as the, the head goes. Um, kind of um, a mid dark, kind of amber color, kind of a golden amber. Um, quite a bit of carbonation bubbles coming up from the bottom. Uh, looks like a pretty beautiful beer. Poor. I guess you could say, as far as my opinion, it poured perfect. Perfect size head, uh, medium head retention. Um, like I said, beautiful beer. Let's put a nose on it and see what it smells like. Oh yeah. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting uh, huge citrus notes right from the start. Very, very citrusy. A uh, little pine. A little caramel, very, uh, very hoppy as far as the aroma, very hoppy. Um, it's reduced down to about a one finger head. Like I said, it's not the, not the greatest head retention, but semi, semi decent. Um, still lots of carbonation bubbles rising. Um, very, very delicious as far as the smell goes. Um, like I said, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of citrus. A lot of pine. Um, I can't tell about the malt. I, I, I can't remember what they said the type of malt they use. I think they said they used Vienna style malt. I could be wrong. Um, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, beautiful aroma. Uh, uh, let's get a taste of it. See what it, see what it tastes like. Um, 
Yeah, it's uh, very hoppy, very bitter right up front, but not too hoppy. It's um, I'm I'm getting uh, kind of in the mi middle there. I'm getting a little bit of the malt sweetness, kind of a caramel style malt. Um, but it's very very floral. Um, tons of citrus, tons of citrus, grapefruit, a little bit of lemon zest. Uh, a little, just a, a hint of orange, mostly grapefruit and lemon is what I'm getting as far as the citrus notes. Um, very, very uh, bitter, but not overly bitter. It has a definite hot bite to it. Um, beautiful, beautiful, uh, delicious tasting beer. Um, not the best IPA that I've ever had, but it's definitely delicious. I would recommend this. Um, let me get another drink. Yes, yeah, it's a very easily, um, uh, easy, very easy drinking, very drinkable, um, India Pale Ale. Um, like I said, uh, a very, not overly strong, but a very strong hot bite right at the right at the start kind of diminishes into uh, a little bit of the malty sweetness it's very uh, very dry very sticky on the palate I'm getting a lot of um, of the uh, hop oils it's leaving kind of a, a little bit of an oily film on the palate it's very dry uh, they said that this was a dry hopped beer which is usually a pretty good thing but uh but yeah, um, the finish it it start it, okay. It starts off with a very hoppy, citrus, piney bite. Fades into kind of a uh, a sweet caramel, malty um, taste midway down, and then it kind of finishes off again with the hot bite. So it's a very well balanced. Um, highly guys, I highly recommend this one. Uh, this is one of the better IPAs I've had in a while. I was kind of skeptical because, that, you know, it being called Red Brick, but yet it's brewed in the Atlanta Brewing Company. I don't know. It, it almost sounded like a, a, a really, um, um, I don't know, something that InBev would have their hand in. I don't know if InBev is involved with, the, with uh, Atlanta Brewing Company, but I don't care at this point because this is a very delicious IPA. Um, I, like I said, I highly recommend it. If you guys see this beer, Red Brick Hot Lana India Style Pale Ale, pick it up, guys. Very delicious. Um, I would say that, that that would be kind of a mid-grade IPA. Something that a, a, a beginner, you know, as far as someone that is just starting out with craft beer, someone that's not really hip to the, the, the really, really strong bitter type ales, I would recommend that one to them because it's, it's kind of in the middle. It's, it's got a bite, it's got a kick, but it's not too powerful, not too, uh, too strong. So yeah, it's a very well-rounded, very balanced beer. Recommend it. Um, I'm going to have one last chug, guys, and then I'm going to uh, take off for the day. Um, it's hump day, so everyone enjoy it. Uh, we're nearing the weekend, so uh, like I said before many times, drink safe, drink responsible. Have a great rest of the week. Cheers, guys.